So this project came about because I was talking to uh, Johnny at the Gallery Unit London and we were talking about how often when they post my work it gets taken down off Instagram and it happens to a lot of their artists. So he asked me if I'd be interested in curating a show around um, this sensitive content. I did a bit of research and found two amazing academics, Maria, who's from um, Denver, and Aleo, who set up a black history of art after her studies at Cambridge. And I think bringing these two on board has made the project really well-rounded and a fascinating survey of how people are getting censored by new social media, but also have been for the last 40 years. A lot of our artists have been censored since the 70s and then we're juxtaposing them with artists that are censored on social media currently. What we kept returning to was what doesn't change in the decades since the 1960s really mm -hmm. uh, as far as regardless of how media have changed and social media has come into existence, that somehow the same kinds of artists and the kinds of issues wind up getting flagged for censorship. There's a very high volume of female artists in this show and a lot of them are artists who depict the female body. And I thought that was really interesting that a lot of the censored content throughout history has been the nude female body depicted by a woman. That's something that I'm most exciting, excited about is that the exhibition, we hope, will be generative, that it's not just about showing these histories of censorship, but that it's about creating some productive conversations around yeah. its existence and perhaps ways in which we can move forward and solve some of these issues that, again, the artists we've chosen seem to show haven't really gone away in our lifetimes. Yeah. Exactly. There was something else that we touched on. Wanting to foreground artists' voice, voices for the artists that are in the show that are alive, which is most of them, because the whole point of censorship is kind of that the voice is taken away or that the artists are muted. We were predominantly interested in why women artists, queer artists, artists of colour were the ones who were being singled out whether it was by the British government, as Petty Slinger's work was uh, in the 1960s and 70s, Betty Tompkins in the case of, of, of the French government in the 70s. Artists like Renee Cox is a big one who I've been writing about for 15 years now um, and who's been singled out by American politicians for doing deeply personal work around religion and sexuality. Even um, Carol Rama in the, in the 40s, I think it was, Yep. Um, by the Italian government. Mm -hmm. And it's all the same theme, it's the female body, which I just find... Represented <laughs> by, by <a> women. women. <laughs> yeah. um, um, so yeah, so those were the kinds of things that we were, we were specifically looking at, asking questions about why they were, those works were singled out when you know, in the case of, and I'll give an artist like Nicole Hebron as an example, she was the founder of the Free the Nipple movement, and she's been consistently shadow banned, knocked off of social media, and yet there are, you know, white cisgendered male artists who have taken that Free the Nipple idea and created these kind of loving, viral, um, sexy versions of what she's doing in a very authentic, funny, transgressive way um, and gotten the attention and not been banned from social media and so we're, we're trying to kind of set these things up next to each other and, and ask when the censorship is happening why it's happening and what it's re what values it's reflective of why is this still happening um, and so you always hope that by foregrounding things and maybe framing them in a slightly different way that you can create a new track for conversation a more productive and um, inclusive conversation to be happening. It's, it's maybe is this the decade that we that we get out of this loop and find new ways of communicating and allowing for th for this kind of very nuanced and activist work to be understood and seen and not just shut down.